Because Article 24 is about what happens if you get a deal. So if your proposition is, this is what happens when we don't get a deal, we're gonna use Article 24. That's horse shit and not really applicable. I can end now if you want, or I can continue. Keep going! So it works in two ways. First of all, if you actually have a free trade agreement. So if you were to say to the EU, Right, it's no deal. Now we would like to invoke Article 24. Invoke Article 24 just means ask for a deal. And if you ask the EU for a deal, they're gonna go, okay, fine. You can have a deal, here's the withdrawal agreement. Sign the withdrawal agreement and off we go. And so you're in the same position that you're in now. In 20 seconds is interim agreements. Now on interim agreements you have to show where you're going to, not just tariffs but also the regulations on things like food standards and your sequencing to get there and the WTO members can raise complaints about it. Fucking ding, is that a ding? Am I dinged out? Fuck, fuck, fuck! I just spent all the whole time looking at you going, am I dinged out? Well, just give me another five seconds to make up for it. Three seconds! Well... You can either do it when you're in case they can say you've already got a fucking standstill arrangement it's called the withdrawal agreement it's called the withdrawal agreement or you can do it once you've left the EU in which case you haven't got a standstill arrangement because the tariffs and regulatory checks have already come in Whichever way you look at it, it is absolute bullshit. Whichever way you look at it, it is absolute horseshit. Whichever way you look at it, it is absolute horseshit. Whichever way you look at it, it is absolute.